Marketing people, they've also got one of these barriers. Theirs is built full of marketing messages. The trouble is, there's no knowledge behind that. That's our assumption. We could be wrong. Yeah? If, if you're in a company where marketing actually means you've gone through the mill before you get the marketing job, you can just say, look, in our company, we have to know everything before we can even get into marketing. So how can I help you? The problem's gone. But our assumption, our working assumption is marketing are just full of messages. I could have said something else, but full of messages, that's fine. PR, we would never, ever, ever use PR as a spokesperson. If I wrote something, PR spokesperson said, my editor would sack me. That would be the end, the end of my career. PR people have their uses, okay? They are a bridge. Fundamentally, they're a bridge. They know all the journalists and they know all of you. And, and, and so what the journalist tries to do is bypass them. This is why we like to get business cards or mobile numbers off people because we can actually phone you direct or maybe even email you direct. We'll do anything to try and bypass PR if we possibly can. And there's ways of dealing with that. You know, you say to the journalist, I'm sorry, I can't talk to you at the moment. Can I ring you back? And then you panic and ring up PR and decide what you're going to say, etc., etc. Right. But if we can't get a hold of you or you've given us the bums rush or whatever, we phone PR. I really need to talk to this guy. PR says, why? Who are you? Who are you writing for? What are you writing about? How long have you got? Who else are you talking to? They ask us all these horrible questions which we don't want to answer. But we have to. They're holding the door shut. We can't get through. So we give them the answers. Now they are well armed. They come through to you and they say, look, this is the score, blah, 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 blah. You discuss what might be a best line of attack. When you're ready, you ring the journalist. The journalist is so relieved that you've actually run back. They'll be nice to you. It's a miracle. The other way it'll happen is that you might go to PR and you might say, boy, have I got a story for the Financial Times. You're going to get the same treatment. PR's going to say to you, okay, why do you think this should work for the Financial Times? Which section of the Financial Times are you talking about? What, what evidence have you got? What numbers have you got? What quotes have you got from real people, customers? Have you got permission? It goes on. They ask you all these bloody questions and then they say, leave it with me, because now they're armed and they go off to the editor or the journalist or whoever, lay out their pitch and, and whoever it is says, yeah, that's fine, I'm very happy to do that, but I would like to take this angle on it or I'd like to take that angle on it or make sure if they've got a quote that it's from a really senior person in a really large company and then I'll, I'll talk. So you go, the PR goes back to you and they say, look, this is the deal. You sort out what you've got to sort out, ring the journalist and away you go. You win. How about that? Excellent.